complete. So, I've got the marks in place, so you can see me. Okay, so standing nice and tall then. Okay, so let's just start with feet together, squeeze the shoulder blades together. You're standing as tall as you can, hands go by your side. So we're just going to do those little side bends. So you slide the hands down the outside of the leg, come back and again slide the opposite way. So remember you're trying not to move your hips. So you're sliding down, staying upright as possible, trying to get those fingertips down the leg, but keeping the hips still. And again, try not to raise your shoulder. Feel that this movement comes from your waist. Just waking up that space, good. Good, nice and slowly, sliding down. Good. Good. Okay, so now take those feet so they're hip width apart and just soften the knees, push the hips away, slide the hand down the outside of the legs. So trying to get your fingertips now to touch the outside of your knees. So just pushing the hip away, sliding the fingertips down the outside of the leg. So again, remember your knees aren't locked, have some softness in the knees, sliding but staying as upright as possible as you slide down the outside of the leg. So now we extend that movement by taking the arm over the head and then you're pushing away. And again, push the hip away, then the arm goes over. So it's that hip going away first of all, then the arm going over the head. Hip goes away, then the arm goes over the head. So we push away and reach up and over. Push the hip away and then reach up and over the head. Good. We're going to do two more. Good. Okay, now we do the same thing. Start our hands in this position, so the thumbs are touching your shoulders. You're going to push the hips away. Now you're going to try and push both hands away. Come back to start, push the hips away, and then both hands get away. So you just think about making that bow shape, keeping the feet grounded. You push the hips away, then you reach your hands highly as possible. Try and squeeze your ears with your arms. As you push away, you squeeze the ears with your arms. Good. Push your leg, good, two more. Good, okay, so the hands come back to this position. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn as far behind me as I can and then push both hands away, come back to the start, turn and push both hands away. So I'm looking to rotate my upper body, push the hands as far away as I can. Again, make the emphasis to try and push both arms away and try and straighten both arms away. Squeeze the shoulders together, push both arms away. Again, rotate, push both arms away. Good. Looking to open up the ribs. Again, just working through your waist as you push away. Let's just do two more. Good, and then resting there. Okay, so we're going to bring the arms back to here, so now again just feet back, hip width apart, soft knees. All we're looking to do is just to push your hands up above the head. As you push the hands up above the head, try and get the fingertips to meet. Good. But I also want you to feel that you're pulling those elbows down into the body as you come back down here. Again, you push up nice and high, come back, and again push up nice and high. Feel you're pushing from your stomach, and again as you come back down, Feel those shoulder blades squeeze together. You push up nice and high. Good. Just do two more. Good. Last one. Good. And then resting there. So we bring those arms down there now. So the elbows now go into the body, palms are facing up. And all we're looking to do is to try and get those thumbs to touch the wall behind. So the elbows stay into the body, soften the knees. Take those thumbs to the wall behind. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. Good. And squeeze. Good. Feel that you're opening up the chest as you do that. You squeeze with the shoulder blades pinched together. And the palms stay up. And try and relax everywhere else. It's not so easy to do. Good. Push. Good. Push away. Two more. Good. Okay, so now you bring your hands almost into this prayer position. So my thumbs are touching my chin. I'm trying to squeeze my elbows together. Now from here, I push up 
pi on y, I make a y shape, and exaggerate coming back down to that position there, trying to get the elbows and hands to meet at the same time. And again, push up, pi on y, make that y shape, and again, come back down. So again, if you push, try not to lean back, try and stay as upright as you can, engaging the middle of your body, engaging your core as you push away, but really feel that stretch as you push away into that Y shape. You push, good. Good, so push high and wide. Push up, good. Come back down, two more. Push high and wide, make the Y. Good. And back, and rest, okay. Shake the arms out, so thumbs back to shoulders. So this time we're going to cross the arms over in front of the face. So we've done Y, we now do X. We cross the arms in front of the face, and each time you cross, change which hand is closest to your face. So you're crossing over, again, come back to here, push across. Exaggerate coming back, push across. So you try and have the same start position each time, same journey, same end position. So it's emphasis on the quality of the movement as you push away, rather than just doing numbers. Quality, not quantity. Push across. X, good. Two more. Good. And then resting there, okay? And then feeling okay. Right, so same start position. We're going to do our rotation again. This time I rotate, and as I rotate, I lengthen both arms but away from me. My palms face down. I rotate, push away, palms face down. Come back to my start, rotate, push away. And I look to the hand that goes behind me. Good. I'm turning, pushing the hands away. Good. Good. Two more. Push the hands away. Then rotate. Push the hands away. Good. Okay. Rest there. The last set, same start position, similar sort of movement. This time you have the palms facing up. So you turn, face away, palms face up. And really exaggerate that you're lengthening through the elbow when you feel that stretch in your biceps, stretch through the elbow as you push those fingertips away. Good. Push away, rotate, push away, good. Two more. Good. And then resting there, okay. So we'll leave the arms alone for a little bit now. So a little bit of balance. So you imagine you have a straight line from your nose straight out in front of you. All I want you to do is step your right foot across that line so it dissects it, come back, and your right foot steps again, but this time it turns out. So we're turning in, right foot, come back, turning out, right foot. So it's always the right foot going forward. Imagine a straight line directly in front of you, and your foot, the arch of your foot, just crosses that line. So I want you to just toe in, and toe out. All the time, try and balance on the big toe of your left foot. So you're stepping from two feet, in theory, into one foot, but dissecting that line. And as you dissect that line now, just think about sitting the hip further away. And again, you turn and again, you push the hip in. So you get that workout in our hip and knee, also in the ankle. Good, as you turn into and out of them. Again, you decide how low down you want to go. Maybe what your knees and hips can take as you step into and out of it. That's good. So you're just going to do two more on this leg. So you're crossing, sitting those hips away. Good. And then we rest. Now we do the same with the left foot. So left foot steps forward. So just gentle steps to start off with. So you're not lunging too deep. Just toeing in and toeing out. Good. So your left foot crosses that line. You toe in and you toe out. Good. So your left foot just crosses over that line that's in front of you. And gradually as you feel more comfortable, you sit into that stretch. So you push the hips away, and again you turn, you sit into that stretch. So again, how deep can you go? How far can you push that hip away? How balanced can you stay as you go into and out of them? You push the hip away. Good. And you push the hip away. Just do two more. Good. 
okay, and then resting neck. So go work a little bit on balance now. So if we can, we're going to put our right foot onto the inside of our right knee. Okay, so we're going to try and rest the foot on the knee. Now if it's difficult, just grab hold of the chair or the person next to you to try and help you keep that balance. But your right foot's on there, and all that we do is just get your foot to tap outside and then come back to the start. So my right toe just touches the floor and then I come back to start. Now you'll notice I lean slightly to the left. That's fine. You're leaning, but just a little toe tap and then come back up. Toe tap and then come back. So at home, well you are at home, sorry, you practice this by getting uh, a wine bottle, a cone, and you just tap onto the top of the cone, okay? But we're just going out to the side and then coming back to your knee. Try and focus on your left foot, the one you're standing on, try and make it soft and relaxed. If it's soft and relaxed, it makes it easier for you to stay balanced. If it's rigid, then you'll start to be a little bit more unstable. Just do one more. Good. And then rest, okay? You'll notice that tension in that left leg now goes. Okay, so same again with the left foot onto the right knee. So again, you hold on the knee, hold on to something if you want to, tap out to the side, come back up to start position, good. So you just toe tap to the side, come back up to your knee. Toe tap to the side, come back to your knee. Good. So again, it helps if you focus on something in the distance, and you try and keep your eyes fixed on that, engage the middle of the body, but all the time thinking about relaxing your right foot. So toe tap, good. Slightly into the right, that counterbalance works. Good. Two more. Good. And then resting there. Well done. Okay. So next one, then we're going to step forward. As you step forward, I'm going to raise one leg in the air and then come back to standing. So as I step forward, I raise my arms to help me counterbalance. And just do small steps forward and just raise that leg slightly. So if I demonstrate with the chair, keep going, keep going. So I practice with the chair, I can hold onto the chair and I'd just be raising my leg high. And that's all I'd like to try and practice is that you're raising the leg, you use your arms to counterbalance, you step into and out of. So you're raising the leg, arms go high, you hold, step into and out of. And as you get better, and again, the chair helps you, you can try and get your chest parallel to the floor. So you're holding onto the dining room chair practice. It's a great workout for hamstrings. Just do two more as you step, open balance. Come back and rest. Good. Okay, so pausing there. We're still on balance then now. Right foot forward, left foot back. I've got my big toe trying to touch my right heel. I'm going to try and sit back onto my left heel, but keep my right big toe down on the ground. So imagine I've got a straight line. I sit back, I balance, I come back to stand. Good. I sit my hips back and I come back to stand. Again, relax your feet. All the weight goes onto your left heel. Try and keep the right big toe on the floor. You sit the hips as far back as you can as you reach the hands forward. You sit the hips as far back as you can as you reach the hands forward. Good. Let's do two more. Good. And then rest. Okay, now we change legs. So right foot behind you, left foot in front. Try and get the toe touching the heel. And again, you sit back and reach forward. So again, how far back can you sit? How far forward can you reach? You're sitting the hips back as you reach those hands forward. You sit the hips back, hands reach forward. If it's too difficult, just separate the feet slightly. That makes the movement easier. Good. Two more. Good, and then rest. Okay, so now more balance, but this time moving forward. So I step my left foot forward. As I do that, I bring my right knee up, I bring my arms up, and I balance, and then I step back down. So you step forward, bring the knee up, bring the arms up, and you balance, and you step back down. Now you're trying to hold that position, as you say, your full date of birth. Good. So the idea is you try and hold 
for a little bit longer than just bringing the knee up and again try and get those, ear, those arms close to your ears and reach up high and engage the middle of your body as you bring the knee up and you hold squeeze the ears as you raise the arms up high and balance good so we do two more on this left leg good and then we change legs so right foot goes forward now left knee goes up and you hold come back right foot goes forward left knee goes up you hold come back good right foot forward left knee up hold and forward that's good again knee comes up arms up high hold good doing well you raise you hold come back two more good last one and then resting there okay so have a sip of water if you want to we're then going to go onto the floor on our backs so while we wait for everyone to get on your backs you lie on your back and just bring your knees up onto your chest so just for everybody just starting in that position knees on chest head and shoulders down and whilst we're waiting just rock Gently from side to side. Maybe creaking you can use the floorboards, not my back. But the head and shoulders stay down and just say little rocks as you massage the low back. Okay, so with both hands on your knees, so hands on your knees, just circle those knees. So as you circle your knees, you're circling your hips. So if you go in the same direction, circling the knees, circling the hips. Good. And change direction. So again, big circles, knees are driving the movement, hips get the benefit. Good. So a little bit more complicated now. I've still got hands on knees. I'm now going to circle the knees away from each other. But I keep my feet together as I circle, pushing the knees away from one another. But the feet stay together. So again, really opening up the hips as I do this. Good. We do two more in this direction. Good. Now we change directions. The same principle. We circle the knees out away from one another. We try and keep the feet together. Big circles. Good. Two more. Good, and then rest there. Now just grab hold of your left knee with both hands, put your right foot on the floor, and then you slide your right leg away from you. So head and shoulders stay on the floor. Next day is relaxed. I'm pulling the left knee towards my chest. But I'm trying to focus on keeping the back of the right leg as close to the floor as possible. So I pull that knee towards me. Good. Now I slowly change. So the left foot goes down, right knee comes up to my chest, I straighten the left leg as I pull the right knee towards my chest. Again, thinking about the back of the left leg touching the floor. So pulling that right knee towards my chest and I feel that lengthening in the back of the left leg. Good. Okay. Change. So the right foot goes down, left knee comes up, straighten the right leg. And now the left leg, just try and pull across towards your right shoulder. So you're pulling it up and across towards your right shoulder. Again, think about the left leg staying close to the floor as you pull that left knee up and across. Good. And then change. So now right knee comes up as you pull that right knee across towards your left shoulder. So you're pulling it up and across. Good. And then resting there. Okay, so put both feet on the floor. Have the ankles and knees together so the knees are bent. The arms go out wide. The palms are facing up. Shoulder blades stay down on the floor. Nice and slowly. Let your knees go to the right as your head turns to the left. You then pull the tummy in. Bring the knees back to center. Let your knees go to the left as your head goes to the right. And again, Pull back to center. So nice and slowly, knees go one way, head goes the other. Good. Shoulders stay down on the ground. Try and keep your 
wrist and elbow on the ground. Feel that lower back and the hips start to loosen as you go slowly from side to side. Again, slowing the breathing down, in as you go across, out as you pull back. Good. Just do two more. Good. And then resting there. Okay, so relax your legs. So hopefully you've got a bit of space behind your head on the floor. To start off with, just have your fingertips directly above your shoulders. So all I'm having to do is to reach my fingertips to the ceiling and then let my shoulder blades just drop down into the ground. So I reach as high as I can and then shoulder blades just thud down to the ground. So I reach up high, shoulder blades thud down. Again, head stays on the floor, neck stays relaxed, reach up and just shake out that tension in the shoulders. Reach up high and then down. Let's just do two more of these. Reach up, shoulder blades drop down. Reach up, shoulder blades drop down. Now from there, both arms are going to go back behind the head. If you go back as far as you can, touch the floor if you can, and then circle those arms around and down to your hips. So the hands touch your hips, then again, back up over the head. on that same path, nice big circle. Now your goal is to try and make the circle as smooth as possible. Try and keep the fingertips, wrists, and elbows as close to the floor as you can throughout that movement. Just circling around, good. Again, if you've also got shoulder injury, then just ease it through the movement. Don't create pain. We're trying to move away from pain as we do the movement. Good, just do one more movement. And then when your hands touch your hips, the next time, I want you to change direction. So your hands go up, around, and then pull down. Good. So you're nice and sit up, around, and then pull down. Focusing on keeping those arms as close to the floor as you can, keeping everything else as relaxed as you can. Good. Nice big circles. Good. Just do two more. Good. Last one. Good. And then resting there. Okay, so we did this position standing up. Have your elbow on the floor in line with your shoulder. Have your wrist in line with your elbow on the floor. And what we're looking to try and do now is to pull the elbow and the wrist into the body. So you squeeze your elbows into your ribs and try and get your thumbs to touch your shoulders. Then you go back to start position and you repeat. So you squeeze the elbows down into the rib cage, try and get the thumb to follow so it touches your shoulder, and then again, repeat. Now, the wrists will want to come off the floor. Try and keep them as close to the floor as they can. Remember, this is work in progress. It isn't necessarily going to happen. But you can pull the elbows down into the ribs. Try and keep your spine fairly neutral, so you don't arch your back to create this movement. You're not wanting tension in your neck, in your jaw, as you squeeze the elbows down into the ribs, and the thumbs touch the shoulder with the palm facing up. Good. Just do two more, so you really feel the stretch across the chest. Feel those shoulders pinched together. Legs stay relaxed. Good, and then resting there. Okay, so then take those arms out wide. They've done their bit for now. Cross your right knee now over your left knee. So your palms are out wide, line with your shoulders. Right knees over your left knee. Again, slowly let the knees go to the right as the head turns to the left. You pull back to centre. Let the knees go to the left as you turn your head to the right. And you pull back to centre. Good. So just repeat that move, just relaxing the hips. The chest should feel stretched out now, so it should be easier to keep the shoulder blades, elbows and wrists on the floor. Good. Open it up. Good. Nice and slowly. One more in each direction. Good. And when you come back to centre, you uncross. Right knee goes off. Left knee goes over right. Make it a nice tight fit. Same principle. Knees go one way. Head goes the other, pull the tummy in, knees go one way, 
head goes the other. Putting the shoulder blades into the ground, just letting the knees drop from side to side, and engage the middle of the body to pull the weight of the legs back to center. Try and turn the head as much as you can to look down the length of the arm as the knee goes away from the body. Two more. Good. And then rest. Okay, so uncross the legs. You can bring the arms into the body now, but still have the palms facing up. Place your right ankle now onto your left knee. So slowly breathe out as you bring both knees towards your chest and then in as you lower. So you're squeezing up, feeling the stretch in your right hip, but also feeling your core muscles engage as you squeeze the knees towards you. Again, check that your neck and shoulders stay relaxed. You're breathing out, and more importantly that you're breathing, squeeze up and lower down. Good. So we're going to do two more. Good, and then change legs. So right foot goes onto the floor, left ankle goes onto the right knee. Again, just make sure your palms are facing up, you're staying relaxed. Breathe out as you lift, in as you lower. Breathe out as you lift, in as you lower. So you're squeezing up and lowering down. Good. You squeeze up and lower down. Good. Neck and shoulders stay relaxed. Squeeze up and lower down. Good. Squeeze and lower. Squeeze and lower. Good. Try and do two more. Good. And resting there. Okay, so now staying on the floor, left leg stays on the floor. Now you're going to straighten your right leg. Put both hands behind your right knee. So the idea is you're pushing your right hip into the floor, pushing your right heel to the ceiling as you try and pull the right big toe towards your face. Still relaxing shoulders, holding that stretch. Good. Now you're going to Bend the right knee, but still keep the hands behind that knee. Bring the knee all the way down onto your chest. And then from there, just try and straighten that right leg. Okay, It's not necessarily going to happen, but the knee can stay on the chest. That can happen, and it should happen. So you should try and straighten that leg. Keep breathing. Good. And then slowly, slowly lower down. So you're going to change legs. So right foot goes onto the floor, left leg goes straight up into the air. You push your hip into the ground as you push the heel to the ceiling. Hands stay behind the left knee. Hold that stretch. Good as you feel that lengthening in the back of the left leg. You're pushing the heel to the ceiling, pulling the toe towards the face, but pushing the hip down. Good. Now, keeping the hands behind the knee, bring the knee down onto your chest. Then you're going to try and straighten that left leg, okay? Keep the knee on your chest, relax your neck and shoulders as you try to straighten. It won't necessarily, but the knee can stay on the chest. Good. Good. And then resting there. Okay, now slowly ease yourself back up to sitting position now. So we're sitting. Take your left leg straight out in front of you as you bring your right knee across your body. So the right foot on the floor outside the line of my left thigh. I'm going to sit up as tall as I can. Try and get both sitting bones on the floor. Pull this right knee across towards your left shoulder. Pull your shoulder blades down. Feel as if your head is being lifted to the ceiling, but your chin stays parallel to the floor. And if you want to, just pull that left toe towards your face. You get stretching your calf on the back of your left knee. That's good. Keep holding. Good. And then resting there. So now right leg goes straight down in front of you. Left foot comes across that right knee. Again, sit tall on those sitting bones. Pull the shoulder blades backwards and down. Bring that knee across towards your right shoulder. Feel your head is being lifted to the ceiling, but your chin stays parallel to the floor. And then extra stretch is pulling that right big toe towards your face. Good. Hold and relax. Good. Good. 
and then rest, and then our last stretch. Bring the soles of the feet together, grab hold of your ankles, just shuffle your hips towards your heels, or bring your heels towards your hips, whichever is easiest. Still hold on to the ankles, try and get your elbows to push into your knees. So you're pushing your elbows down towards the ground, and just feel that stretch in the inside of your thigh. So from there, grab hold of your toes if you can, and pull the toes towards you as you take your nose towards your toes. You're just rounding the back, trying to get your nose to your toes, but still try and push those knees to the ground. Good. And then ease up there, good. Okay, so while you're sitting down, you can have a little breather. That's very good work, a few different things today. Hope you all enjoyed that. Say so you have recorded it so you can watch that again and share with friends. But I'll see you all on Friday at one o'clock. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. You're all doing.